Here you'll see how easy it is to set up a program that is a complex project for digital transformation with Objective RPM. Setting up a new program takes just a few steps. The program needs a name and a short identifier, which will show up later in the identifiers of your results and artifacts. Here I'm choosing the template for digital transformation. Now it's necessary to name the digital solution to be developed and name the first domain where requirements for the solution will originate. Digitalization programs are often so large that several initiatives or sub-projects are required for realization. I'll name the first of these Initiative 1. I'll also use straightforward names for the first sprint and the first release. And before I forget, the project is starting next month, not today. That's all you need to do. Objective RPM takes care of the rest. In just a moment, Objective RPM will have set up the entire working environment for everyone involved in the program. Let's take a look at everything that was set up. On the left, you see the customizable topic bar, which gives you quick access to frequently used things like models, real-time queries, metrics, dashboards, backlogs, planning views, and more. Here you'll also find frequently used commands. Where are all these pre-created results stored? These are located in the program repository. With show products, I can open the repository's folder structure. This is organized according to the steps that a digitalization program follows. Strategic analysis, requirements definition, solution development, and so on. The folder structure isn't empty. For example, you'll find document templates here that you can use to generate your results in just a few clicks. If you want to streamline and standardize your teamwork, you'll want to take a look at settings. Here you'll find state machines for controlling workflows, pre-made forms for special result types, and a form designer. You can use the form designer to create your own forms for both pre-existing result types and your own custom result types. If you want to simplify recurring tasks and procedures, for example in program planning, Objective RPM also comes with easy-to-use patterns. Now let's take a closer look at the topic bar. Here you'll find selected real-time queries from the repository. These can also be used to control your program in real time. For example, this pre-configured dashboard. Right after setting up the program, there's nothing to display in the dashboard. That's also the same for the product backlog, the main tool used by the product owner. The program plan, however, already has some content. Objective RPM creates an initial project schedule, allowing you to get started right away. Among other things, an initiative and a sprint have already been created. And now it's your turn.